hi welcome to my youtube channel my name is karen prince today i am going to show you how i made this diy pom-pom skirt okay it's distressed i put all the little pom-poms on there i'm also going to show you how i take in the waist on this skirt because it was too big and i'm going to show you how i like to style this diy skirt okay so stay tuned okay so starting off to do the elastic waistband part you're going to need some elastic you're going to need needle and thread a bobby pin and rubber band and i'll show you why later and then to glue the pom-poms on i'm just using e6000 glue and some toothpicks to help me apply it to distress it i'm going to use uh this scissors and tweezers and then here right here is the pom-poms i just went all black i got these from michael so you can find this like at your local craft store okay and then you're going to need a ruler this ruler is like a sewing ruler i got it out of joann's and i've had it for years i forgot what the particular name is but that one helped me with spacing the pom-poms on the skirt very well and then of course you'll need your skirt of choice also what was shown here was a white makeup pencil and I just used that to mark the spaces on my skirt where I placed the pom-poms. Okay, so this right here, this is totally optional. If your pants or skirt fits you perfect, then you may want to skip over this step. But for those of you who struggle with this problem, I'm going to show you how I um, fixed that. Okay, I'm just going to put an elastic band through the waist so that it is snatched to the back okay so right here this is how i actually measure it um, as far as how much elastic i want to use i'm going to go ahead and take one piece and place it on my side seam and stretch it over to the other side so that it is the tightness that i prefer now actually i could have went a little bit tighter but you know just do that and then you're going to go ahead and mark where you want to cut the elastic okay since this particular elastic is actually thicker than the waistband itself i'm just going to go ahead and measure um how thick i want to cut this elastic band so that it fits inside my waistband so I just folded that down and then I'm going to use a pencil to mark it okay so now I'm just going to use my ruler to help me draw a line straight across the length of this elastic and then I'm going to cut the piece off that is the excess okay so now what you see me doing here is I'm going to cut a small slit on the inside of the waistband at the side seam where I want to sew down the elastic. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm just cutting straight across. Okay, now when doing this, you only want to cut through the first layer of that jean on the inside of the skirt. You are not cutting through to the other side. This is supposed to be hidden, so please be mindful to not poke a hole through the other side of the skirt. And you're gonna do this to both sides, so one on each side seam. Okay, so we're gonna take this elastic and we're gonna cut a slit into it so that I can fish this bobby pin through the hole that's being made. And this is how I'm going to pull the elastic through the inside of the waistband on the skirt. And then once I just um, slipped that bobby band through the hole, I just wrapped it with rubber band just so that the um, elastic doesn't slip out of the bobby pin when I'm sliding it through the inside of my waistband. Okay, so now I'm just fishing the elastic through the inside of the waistband on my skirt so you want to kind of use like a shimmy motion um first to get it in there and then once it slips through you're going to like push the bobby pin forward first hold it and then drag the elastic through the back so push the bobby pin first and then drag it through by put drag the elastic through by pulling the bobby pin down through the waistband so you're just going to continue to push the 
elastic through the waistband until the other side of the elastic meets up with the incision that you made so you can sew it down. Be sure not to pull the elastic too far into the waistband because you do not want to lose it. Okay, so just be very careful. Okay, so the tag on the skirt was actually pinning down both sides of the fabric. So I had to make two extra slits so that I can pull the elastic out then go past the tag and then go back in on the other side. So that's what you see here. So continue to pull that elastic through and then once it meets the other end on the edge, that's where you're gonna sew down the elastic. Now just go ahead and thread your needle. Just make it long enough so that you can go over that section about two to three times. Then you're gonna go ahead and slide the elastic back through to the other side and sew down the other um, end the exact same way. And so since we couldn't um, sew the elastic completely through the waistband, you're just gonna go ahead and stretch the elastic in the waistband at the same time. And you're gonna like sew it down in random spots. So just pick random spots and just tack it down on the waistband. But once again, when you're sewing, do not put the needle through to the other side on the outside of the skirt unless you're using like a black thread or a thread that matches the fabric, then you'll be okay. But just tack down some pieces and then you'll be done with the waist. And ta-da, there you go, there you have it. No more gappy waist, okay? Boom. Okay, now before I add the pom-poms, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distress the skirt a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna make two horizontal slits right here at the bottom of the skirt. And this is how I am going to create like these panels of the distressed look. And I just make sure the slits are the exact same length. So now what you wanna do is you're gonna start to pull the strings on this little panel so you're going to pull the horizontal strings first so pull out as much of those strings as you can and then you're going to pull the vertical strings so once you start to pull the vertical strings then the horizontal strings will start to show through and you're just going to pull all the vertical strings until everything opens up and you're left with this now to get these little sparse ends right here, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your tweezers and you're gonna start to pull at the edge. So kind of almost like when you were pulling out those horizontal lines, but not really. You're kind of just like pinching it and pulling it. So just pinch and pull, pinch and pull, and do this until you're satisfied with the way it looks. Okay, so now moving on to the pom-poms, I'm gonna go ahead and take my white makeup pencil and that's what I'm gonna use to mark where I place my pom-poms. Now, I'm using the bottom of the hem to start my first line and I'm only going to place the pom-poms from side seam to side seam. So that's how I know how far out I'm placing the pom-poms. Now also, I'm marking these pom-poms to be placed every three inches. Okay, so this ruler is the perfect width of how I want my pom-poms to be as far as how wide the rows are from each other. Sorry guys, this I'm trying to explain this really well, so... Ooh, hell, okay, I'm just trying. All right, 
but what I'm gonna do is take the ruler and lay it on top of the first row where I marked out my pom-poms and then I'm gonna go ahead and start the second row now when I start the second row I'm gonna only go in one and a half inches because I want this pom-pom to be in the middle of the first row of pom-poms so the window effect and the reason why I went in one and a half inches is because one and a half is half of three so I'm gonna start it there and then I'm just going to pick my ruler up and place it at the edge of that first marking. And then I'm going to go back to marking every three inches for the second row. And I'm going to do this all the way till I get to the top. Okay, so just be mindful that every time you go up, you still wanna place your ruler at the side seam. That is your starting point, okay? So just always alternate from starting at the seam and then starting an inch and a half in, and that's how you're gonna get that window effect. And just be very careful. You wanna be precise with your measurements cause that's what's gonna make it look better overall. Of course, you don't have to do it this way. You can make it look random, but I decided to go with a more uniform look. Yay, it is pom-pom time, finally. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your E6000 glue and then you're gonna take um, a toothpick and you're going to squeeze ever so softly, okay? Ever so softly, you're gonna squeeze the bottle just to push out the smallest amount of, um, push out the smallest amount of glue onto the toothpick and then you're going to use the toothpick to place the glue on the pom-pom now i'm doing it this way because i feel like this way was like the cleanest way i can go i didn't want any of those glue strings to be all over the place i really took my time and glued these pom-poms on because i just wanted it to look nice okay i didn't want a rush job so don't you know so just take your time and don't try to rush it now you can use um fabric glue you can use uh the hot glue gun that's meant for fabric you can even sew these on but this is just what i went with and it worked for me now you want to wait until this is dry for you to wear it okay I waited at least two hours just so I can try it on. So just be mindful of that. And this is the final result, guys. I love, love, love the way this turned out. I love this skirt, okay? It's so cute. I am just gonna show you guys how I will style something like this, so keep watching. Okay, here it is. This is what it looks like on, and I love it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so first I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these black booties and I'm gonna throw those on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this men's oversized jean jacket and we're not gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna actually, you know, throw it off my shoulder a little bit and I am going to cuff up my sleeves and boom, there you have it, okay? I love this look. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this bright blue iridescent-like jacket. It's one of those swishy jackets, okay? And I'm gonna zip it up. I ended up zipping it all the way to the top, so do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it into my skirt. 
and I didn't like the boots so I changed my shoes to the strappy sandal and bam I love this outfit as well okay so next I'm gonna take this snake print sheer blouse and I'm gonna throw it over and I'm gonna actually throw my blazer on top of that and I tied it at first but didn't like it so I end up tucking it in and that's what you have here for the third look yeah And for the final look, I'm gonna take this oversized jacket. It's a, like a camo, it's a green and black camo style jacket with fur and that's how I'm gonna end off for the last and final look. You can style this skirt so many ways. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I just wanted to show you guys a few looks so you can get something in your head um, as far as when you're doing a DIY and how to style it so that it doesn't look DIY. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, please leave all your questions down in the comment section and I will see you guys next time. Bye.